Hi, so I'm going to show you how to configure the test symbol in IntraTrader and then run the, the feed program. And then we'll see how the, the chart gets updated from the custom feed. So the first thing we'll do is we'll define the test um, symbol, which is just a custom symbol. So I'm going to go to the instrument manager and I'm going to click new. And I'm just going to give it the name test. And the only settings we need to put here really are we need to just choose an exchange. So I'm just going to set it to be nicey. And then I will go into the miscellaneous tab and tell Ninja that the external data feed is using test. And that kind of maps it for us. And I think these are the only two things we need to do here. Let's see. Okay, so we have test down here. Next, I'm going to add it to the default um, instrument list. So I just mark test and click here. So now it's in there. This way I can open it up in a chart. I'll click OK. So that part's done. Next, we want to. Um, connect to a data feed. So we're going to connect to the external data feed. And we got that going. Finally, I will um, open a chart with test on it. Okay. And you can see that test has like um, just a couple of bars here. This is just from my previous um, runs and simulations. If you do this for the first time, it'll come out empty. And you won't see anything here. Um, next, what I'll do though, I'll go over to Visual Studio, and I'm just I created here the the sample application, which you'll find in the in the post. All this really does is does an import of ntdirect.dll which is a regular just a regular dll and we're going to be using the last method to call and update instrument test with a random price we created and just a fixed size 100 volume and there's a lot of code there's some code here that does the calculation of the price and it loops through it and it sleeps for for two seconds and it's not really important. Uh, the important part is here where we just call last from Ninja and give it test with the last price we just calculated and the volume of 100. That's basically it. So let me run this um, the console application. So that gets fired up. And it just prints out what it's doing. So it's, you know, it's got a direction of 1 and the price is 98, 97, 97 and just continuously um, every two seconds it'll generate some kind of value and update Ninja. Um, if we go back to Ninja you can see down here that a new bar is starting to be formed at the bottom so 97, 99 and so on it's moving up and down like any kind of feed and that's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye bye.